Good morning, guys. It is Derek with Diamonds. I want to welcome everyone to my channel. I want to welcome all my new subscribers as well as old ones. So, guess what, guys? We have a post review. So, what a post review is, guys, is when you finish a painting. So, I have right here Pride by S Sandra Winther. I th yeah, Sandra Winther. Oh, guys, this painting turned out stunning. So, I'm going to dig out my drills. So, I'm not even going to take them out because, guys, you see that I still have drills. Uh, quite a few. So, this was the painting I did for my event. Um, I started it on May, March 1st and finished it on May 29th. So, it took a hot minute, but I do have a full-time job. So, it's very hard for me to fit in diamond painting. So, I am so happy I finished it within about... I did it in about two, two and a half months. Which is about my normal for a painting. Um, so, we're going to talk a little bit about this painting. So, this painting is also for... Um, The ethnic type of sort of events. I know Miss Coffee used to do them. I'm not sure if she does uh, the uh, Black Lives Matter event. I'm not sure. But it kind of gears towards this. But it also gears towards Rainbow. Because when I flip this beast over, I even lost my asthma. So, are you guys ready to see Pride... Guys, look at this image. I am just beside myself. So, we are going to get down and dirty with this canvas. Not that down and dirty. So, I'm going to start here. Which is part of her hair. So, I added quite a few uh, enhancements to this beauty. I have not finalized finishing it. And what I mean by that is when you finish a kit, you can use a cup, you can use a roll, one of these rollers, you can use a rolling pin, whatever fancy does your fancy. So, what this does is it snaps all of the drills in place that are just kind of, you know, chilling out. So, what I do is I just go, and yeah, you can hear them. So, and... So, there is that. So, yes. It's not a loud snap. But, it's a snap. So, yes. I added quite a few um, enhancements to this. that guys so I'm trying to think what enhancements I added I didn't add many I did add this color here into it it kind of highlight does a lot of highlighting in her flame part of her hair this image actually reminds me of the Phoenix and I think that's why I went with it um, so I'm gonna Right here, you can barely see it. So what I'm going to do is zoom you guys in. Right up down here. 
These are GPO Sparklers um, sparklers right here. I didn't stop there. So I did them in her face. Like right here, right here. And you come go up. This is where most of them were. This is the vein right here. And I also added ABs into this. And yes, like we have more up there. And we have some over here, I think. So guys, this painting is out of stock. So here's a better view of her. So let me try to get her in focus. So guys, this is Pride. So I have had her hanging up for quite a while. Because that's what I usually do when I finish a kit. Is I hang it up to let it kind of... The weight distribute. Because I'm going to show you one thing I like about DAC's paintings. When you finish a painting by them. There is not a wrinkle. There is not a river. There is nothing. So that's one one of the reasons why I seem to gravitate towards Diamond Art Club. So... I would love to thank Diamond Art Club for being so nice. So, this is also going to be a whipping chat. So, we are going to be talking about Ghoul's Fork Yero today. Because fall, unfortunately, is not that far away. Not for me, anyway. Because... We are almost into June, and I live in New England, so our f summers are very short. So I will be working on Dreaming of Being Human. So, I'm gonna grab my stuff here. But before I get started, I'm going to show you a goodie that a friend of mine made. I just hit my knee. <laughs> so, this is a diamond painting pen holder. And she made this out of resin, which, loving it, loving everything about this um, caddy. So, I'm going to take all the pins out. So you can see what it looks like. And guys, yes, I have some pins. So I am taking a break from uh, Dem uh, Custom Pins by TJ for a while because I want to try new pin shops. Um, I'm going to try uh, Black, Black Wolf Woodworks. I'm going to try Say de la, la Fleur. I don't know how to pronounce their name. I'm not even going to try. But I wanted a pit diamond pen holder made, and she has been playing with resin. So she had actually ordered the mold. She had made it. So there's really not any flaws with this. <laughs> Everyone says it looks like Mickey Mouse because of the back of it. So guys, the, this holds about 18 pins. 
So I have actually put in an order for another one, but the colors are beachy. I want a beach themed uh, type of uh, holder because I do do a lot of mermaids. So you just put them back in here. So, I want to con congratulate uh, Kay for winning the Harry Potter kit that I uh, gave away for my 400 subscribers. So, we're going to talk about my events for a minute. <clears throat> so, I am going to be doing... Rocking for Ra R Rakovich. <coughs> it is a Curtis Rakovich event. So I will be um, doing Radiant Rainbow, which is like, she reminds me a lot of um, Rainbow Bright. So I'm actually wicked excited to do that kit. And then... We get into September. We, Diamond Art Club is all types of awesome. So I had gotten content because I found out Finya was back in stock. So I will show, and Finya to me is the actual sister to Artemisa because it just gives off Artemisa vibes. So I was like, okay, I'm I'm going to ask them if they can send me, donate Finya for my event. And guess what, guys? They are. And I'm all types of excited. So, guys, we're going to talk about how to win these kits. So, I've actually discussed this with one of my subscribers. The more times you finish like a square and post a picture, the more times your name gets put in. So say you do four squares and you put your name in four times. That means you get your name in there four times and there's that constant chance that you're going to get picked. So that's how I am doing these two kits. Um, I've also been considering of doing those kits because they are going to be the grand prize giveaways for September and October. Um, I will have each kit at the end of the month. Um, Artemisa will be given away at the end of September. And Finya will be given away on Halloween. So, that is that. Hol then, um, I did a poll about my event, my event for Christmas. Um, I didn't want to get too involved with Christmas this year, but I have, I'm not doing any giveaways for the month of November and December, but what I am doing, I am actually doing a holiday auction. So what that entails is that say you want to do Christmas shopping, this is an easy way to get kits that have been in my stash that you have wanted. So the only artists that are not going to be into that pool is Inscarero, Hannah Lynn, Micah Jelena, and Dakota Dotweiler, and Curtis Rykovich. Those are the five artists that will not be in this stash. So I am going to be, and some of these kits will be sent to you Different because I don't have the boxes anymore. So they will be sent a different way. Um, I have actually thought about ordering some craft tubes. Not from Craftably. Probably from Amazon. And have them ship that way. Um, so guys, let's get started on this. I have been working on all types of kits once I had finished... Um, Oh my gosh, what's the name of it again? A uh, Pride. Like, 
I did my first square for my garden needs tending. Oh, guys, it's been so hard for me not to work on that kit. So what I usually do is when I finish a kit early before my next event, I'll work on one of my whips. So I've been bouncing from my garden needs tending to uh, Bubbling Joy, which is by Mad Art Studios. And that, that ain't a bad kit either. So guys, we'll, let's talk about Nick's at Nick's Notions for a minute while I get all set up here. Uh, okay. Um, so she has come out with a gadget. That's, that's what the way we'll word it. She's come out with a gadget. It is a stackable uh, confetti carousel. So what one of the suggestions she made was purchase two of them, which you would be able to do 12 colors at a time. Your first purchase would be the actual carousel, then your other one would not be. And I, I guess they stack on top of each other so that you still have the spin, spinning concept of the carousel. So I'm like, oh, that's a that's a neat idea. So I today for my whipping chat, I'm going to be using this pen and probably this one, this stunning, stunning pen. And where are you? This one. These are my three mermaid pens. So, speaking of mermaids, oh, Lexi Sparkles is doing a Dreaming of Being Human trinket tray for me. But she's kind of making it to where it I can use it for other mermaid kits. And that's what I told her. I said, don't make it too much of that particular kit because I want to use it for other mermaid kits. <coughs> I'm just, it's, I prefer squares, square kits. So I, I'm pretty sure when I do my auction, I'm, it's going to be a lot of round kits going bye-bye because -bye, I prefer squares. But some of my artists kind of bounce all over the place with squares and rounds. So I have to just suck it up and deal. Like, I'm so thankful Butt Night is a square. So that is the kit I will be working on for my Halloween event. And it is a mystery kit. So if you want to do like a, there is one other Inscarero kit out there that is a mystery kit. I have, I have that one as well. And that one is very, it has a lot of the pumpkin vibes going on. Give me a minute, guys. I got to get you down to my business here because you can't see what I'm doing first off. There we are. Sorry about that, guys. I haven't done a weapon chat in a hot minute. So, so I do have some news. <coughs> I will be having a special guest on June 8th. And she is one of my sponsors. So... That special guest is Bella Art Day Nicole. I am so excited, guys. I've been wanting her on my lives for a hot minute. Um, so, they are also the new owners of Mary's Diamonds. I have not purchased a kit from them yet. I do plan on it. I just got to get there. <laughs> so... I have a lot of stuff I'm going to be planning on my channel. I am going to be doing a whole lot more other companies. Take a break from a lot of the companies I usually buy from, like DAC and Craftably and all of them. Dreamer Design, though, is still in my asthma right now. They really are. They have come out with a mermaid kit again because they know that I will buy it. 
There is one I want that is out of stock, I think. It's the Mar Marcapone one. It, it's the, there's a lot of purples. Um, but yeah, I, pre yeah, I prefer squares. Squares are my, are my life. Um, so, and guys, they, they have been all types of extra with pre-releases this week. So, I went on DAC's site, and I looked to see how many of the Inscarero kits I need that they have. I only need one. The one of her kits, I'm not a fan. It's that weird one where it's a witch with a hat and has the cat. It's just not my jam. Um... But she had uh, Seasons of the Witch came back in stock, and I have to get that one before it goes bye-bye. Because I am all about Inscarero. Her kits just bring life to me. Oh, and also the other artist I will not be de-stashing is Christopher Lavelle. I knew there was another one. A lot of his kits I still need to get. There's one of the sisters I haven't got yet. Because he did the Greek sisters. He did Medusa, um, Uravel, and one the other sister is cat has the cats. And I haven't gotten that one yet. I'm waiting for it to come back in stock. And I believe that's one of Medusa's sisters, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, Medusa is definitely not going anywhere because that's one of my fit. I loved when they initially announced Crystal Lavelle on their site. That one took me a hot minute to get because of the price tag. I just could not see myself spending seventy dollars on a kit. So I had both. I had uh, reward points. So I'm like, okay, I I would had fifty dollars off for that kit, so I spent twenty bucks for that one. Um. It was nice. It was such a pleasure to get that. Looked at it and saw it. I'm like, oh, I have to have it. So, guys, just a heads up. If I do finish my Inscarero kit early, which is very possible because I'm excited for Button Eye. Um... But, guys, I will be going on vacation in October to go see my brother. So, I probably will not be on much for that week. Um, we're going to go see my brother in Indiana. So, that will be a nice, fun ride. And I am going to attempt, while I'm out there, because I have quite a few people on my channel that live out that way. Cindy Lee is one of my most common fans on my channel. She lives in Michigan, which is not far from me at all If when I go to see my brother in Indiana, so... Maybe she can come down and we can do lunch or something. Because we will be up there a week. So. Yeah. Uh, my brother's birthday is the 27th. And that's the, actually the date. We leave the day after his birthday. So, so yeah, we made that decision to go see, and my, my husband does not get many, much time off, but I get up to three weeks, so I usually take as much time as I possibly can take.
So, um, try to think what else. Oh, so I have it down to two kits for Hannah Lynn when I do my event in uh, November. I have it down to Little Miss Delish and the mermaid painting. And my, nope, that's a Mandy Manzano. There's one more Hannah Lynn that I have that I wanna do. And I think it is Celia. She's the one that has the blue hair and is full of ABs. So it's down to those three. I'm leaning towards Little Miss Delish the most because she is a massive kit. But 85% of that kit is color blocking. And I'm like, oh, that'd be a good one to work on for the event because it would not take me long to do. Because the background is one color, the stars are another. So once I got that background done, it would be so easy to work on the rest of it. So I'm thinking about her. Because she has been in my stash the longest. Um... If I had a Christmas kit of hers, I would probably be doing a Christmas handle but I do not. But you know me. I like my rainbow. We are almost done today for my whipping chat. I usually do half an hour. So, so tell me in the comments what, which kit you would like me to do for Hannah Lynn. I didn't sleep very well last night. No, oh, well, I went to bed at three o'clock, roughly. And I got up at 6.30. <laughs> so three hours. Gotta love my schedule. And another artist that starting to uh, attach to me is Ivy Delamore. I own quite a few of her kits. She is also another artist I cannot depart with because I just love her images. I got to have them in my life. Um, so, I did have somebody um, Kay da has a diamond event page, so she has posted over there my events. Which, yes, I'm just so excited. And you guys know I like doing events because it kind of keeps my channel active. I'm not... I don't get to make videos often like m a lot of the creators on YouTube because I do work retail, so it's very hard for me to fit in diamond painting. Um, and there are some people out there that own businesses like Bella Arte Nicole. I don't even know how she fits diamond painting into her equation because they now own Mary's Diamonds. There is one kit they have I am probably going to end up getting. It is called Sea Princess. But go. 
eyes. That painting is $80. $80. I'm like, is that painting really worth $80? <laughs> I'm like, I've never purchased from Mary's Diamonds, and I think that will be interesting to see. With... switch pens this one's starting to hurt my wrist so the chunky pens I my hands usually can't do this is guys this pen I love this pen so I don't know I haven't decided which kit to do I really want to do the mermaid one just because of this pen alone um, I do like um, DAC's um, metal placers, they work really well for me. Um, but yeah, she's making, I got to get with Lexi Sparkles. I want to see if she can actually make me a tray that has my YouTube name on it. I'm not sure if she can because my name is kind of long and that's a lot to fit on a tray. So I'm gonna get with her today, see if she can do that. Because if she can, I am actually gonna have that tray made in unicorn colors. So that I have two different versions of rainbow. Because you guys know I like my rainbow. Um, but yeah, she is actually doing a wintry uh, tray for me which I do own a lot of winter kits. I wanna get that tray done and made so that it's here for my Curtis Rykovich event because I that's what it's geared towards. Because <clears throat> his kits seem to give off the grays and blue vibes. There's not many of his kits that ha are full of color and I think that's what I'm excited about Radiant Rainbow. Because how much color is in this kit? It's not as, like... <clears throat> so, working on Dreaming of Being Human, I have enjoyed every minute of it. But it's very tedious because you pretty much are single-placing the whole kit. So, I'll do a little bit of my square every once in a while. I won't do it out in the living room because then I'm going to want to just keep working on it, keep working on it, keep working on it. But I have an event coming up, so. And I do want to finish another painting before my event, so that's why I'm working on Bubbling Joy out in the living room because it is a 40 by 60. So it's pretty small. Um, and once I do the border, I will only have four squares in the center to work on. So it should go pretty smooth. But yeah, this pen is, isn't bad. I hold pens different than most people. So it's hard for me to find a pen that works for me. But this one isn't too bad because See, so guys, see how my fingers here are kind of just like this. This isn't usually how I hold a pen because I hold a pen kind of like this. So it does, these type of pens don't usually work, but the weight kind of distributes that. But these are my jam. I mean, they fit like a glove with me. The Madwood turning pins are amazing. Um, so, she is also making me two pins. Um, I want a dragon pin. I've been wanting a dragon pin for a hot minute. I am so excited for that pin though. So she's making me one of those. 
And then I told her to try to do a Inscarero dark arts type of pen. Come up with a dark fantasy type of concept. Actually, no, we're doing a witch pen. That's right. Um, I almost forgot. So I have gotten with her. So she is actually doing me a Halloween pen. So I cannot wait to see how that turns out. But uh, I, I like the ankled tips, I think, the best out of all the tips I got from DAC. I'm almost done with this, guys. And then what I usually do when I do a whip and chat is I'll try to get through one color on a square. But this will be tucked away because this is actually where my round kit is going to be put when my event starts because Curtis Rykovich painting will be out in the living room. I will not be working on that one during my event at all. I will be working on that one off the side, the Curtis Rykovich painting, because it's just too long and too much to keep bouncing back and forth back and forth so i'm just going to leave it in the living room but what i will do is post pictures i notice a lot of people do that when they do events so that's why guys the more pictures you post the more entries you get And that's how you win stuff on my channel. Oh, yay. I get to use my four placer. Finally. Oh, yes, guys. I love squares. They just are my life right now. I like rounds. Don't get me wrong, but I, I'm all about a square. So we are just going to leave these pins in here. Back to where they belong. So we are done with that color, guys. And I've been on here 38 minutes. So, guys, with that being said... Love yourself. Love each other, guys. Happy diamond painting, guys. See you tonight on my live. Bye.